Happy Friday, Year 5. Well done for getting through another week of home learning. We are so impressed with everything you're doing, not just in reading, but across all subjects. So a big well done from all the Year 5 teachers and co-teachers. We are so proud of you. So today, um, as we finished Floodland yesterday with the big question, we're just going to look at a non-fiction text today. And you're going to practice all the skills you've learned about how to answer questions um, today without our help. Now, I will share the answers at the end of the video um, and I'm going to read through the non-fiction text with you just to make sure you understand vocabulary or any tricky words. Um, but then you're going to have a go at the questions on your own and mark them yourself before uploading to Seesaw. So, this is a non-fiction text about fair trade. Now, by reading this text, you'll, by the end of it, you'll understand what fair trade is and how it affects people's lives. So the name of the text is Shop to Spread a Smile. So I'm going to zoom in so that you can just see it clearly. And I'm going to read through it with you. So Shop to Spread a Mile, Smile, not a mile. Um, and how we over here in Europe can help the lives of people across the globe by choosing how we shop and what we buy. So that's what the text is about. I'm going to read through it and learn about fair trade. So... I'm going to start here with the introduction. So this is the introduction. It's time to think about where the things we buy every day come from and how they're made. Fair trade helps more than 7 million people across Africa, Asia and Latin America by making sure that they get a fair price for the goods that they produce, like food, clothes and toys. By swapping our usual products for fair trade ones, we can make a huge difference in the lives of lots of people, like the Kwapa Koko farmers in the Ashanti region of Ghana in Africa. So that's the introduction. Fair trade um, looks after um, and makes sure people have equal rights and that they get money for what they produce. Produce is something you make, like foods, clothes and toys. Okay, so where did the idea come from? So, bright idea. In 1878, a young Ghanaian called Tete Koreshi returned from working on a cocoa farm in Equatorial Guinea with a handful of cocoa seeds in his pocket. He'd learned that cocoa sold for a high price in Europe, where it's used to make chocolate, and believed that it would grow well in Ghana's hot climate, and he was right. Today, Ghana is the world's largest cocoa producer, and these beans provide millions of people with the means to live. However, the cocoa in Ghana is grown on a small family farms and because of this, farmers can find it difficult to get a fair price from the big chocolate companies. So big chocolate companies can sometimes take advantage of small farmers and take more than what they should and give less money than what they should to the farmers. So the point of fair trade is that everybody becomes equal because of this. Okay, down here to business means business. Cocoa farmer Nana Frimpanga Baresi was so worried that Ghana's local farmers were going to lose out to big companies that she formed a group called a cooperative with other farmers in the area. They decided to collect and sell their own cocoa and use the profits to improve the lives of the people in their communities. Then the farmers decided that they also wanted to make their own chocolate bar. So with the help of charities like Comic Relief, they launched the Divine Fairtrade Milk Chocolate Bar. So again, another idea, another initiative to make sure um, people are being treated fairly. Okay, up here to sweet deal. The Kwapa cocoa farmers use their papapa beans, meaning best of the best in Twi language, to make the divine chocolate bars. And they were soon on sale in supermarkets across the British Isles. The Kwapa cocoa farmers own half of the divine chocolates company, which means that as well as getting a good price for their papapa cocoa beans, they also get a share of the profits from the sale of the chocolate bars. So if you sold your cocoa and you lived in Ghana and you sold your cocoa to a big chocolate company like Cadbury's in the UK, um, they would get little or no money, the farmers. However, this initiative, the Kwapa Cocoa Farmers, they own half of this company. So that means as well as getting money for their cocoa beans, they would get half the money um, or the profits of what is sold in the shops in the UK. So that means it's much fairer and people and get a fairer amount of money and what they deserve. Then, this money has been invested into the communities of the Kwapa Coco members to build wells for clean drinking water, new toilet facilities and schools. 
So this company has used the money that they've made from their chocolate bars and put the money back into the community to make wells, to make sure people have clean drinking water, make sure people have clean toilets and to build schools and um, for the education of children. Okay, a helping hand. 14-year-old Jennifer Ofrawa Kusi's father is a cocoa farmer and member of Kwapa Coco. When she was younger, Jennifer Kamusi, two hours away from her village. Ah, sorry, I will read that again because I made an error. When she was younger, Jennifer had to leave her family and go to school in Kamusi, two hours away from her village. So imagine her having to travel two hours um, to go to school. That could mean travelling up into Essex if you were from this part of London, or travelling to the other side of South London um, just to go to school. Two hours each way, which would mean four hours travelling every day. However, now the money from the sale of fair trade cocoa beans and divine chocolate has helped to fund a school just a short walk away from her village. So that money has been put back into the community and this girl is now able to go to school in her own local village as she should be able to. Quote from Jennifer. I love my school and my favourite subject is English, says Jennifer. When I grow up, I want to be a nurse so that I can help the people in my community when they get ill. Okay. And finally, our last little bubble before we go on to some facts or what we can do to help people. Okay, swap it. This year's Fair Trade Fortnite runs from the 22nd to the 7th of March. And we want you to swap your usual products for those with the stamp of approval from the Fair Trade Foundation. By thinking more carefully about the products you buy and where they come from, you can help make a difference to the lives of poor people around the world. So when you hit the shops with mum or dad, keep an eye peeled for the fair trade mark. So this mark here is fair trade and ensures that people are able to trade or buy and sell fairly and get a fair price for their products or their goods. Okay. Did you know it takes one cocoa tree's whole crop for an entire year to make just three big bars of divine chocolate? So a fun fact there. Okay. And up here in the corner, this is how you can make your mark. This is how you um, can have an impact, not only by what you buy, but what you can also do in your own life. So the fair trade mark doesn't just apply to food or clothes. You can make your own school fair trade too. So these are some steps if you want to do this maybe as an initiative at home. And um, just thinking about maybe with your parents, or you can ask me when you come in as well. So you could make a group um, which meets to discuss why fair trade is important and how you can get the rest of your school involved. So if you have a really strong interest in this, um, have some research and maybe have a look over the weekend. Perfect plan. Write a fair trade policy for your school and get it signed by your teacher. This will help everyone in the school understand what you're doing and why it's important. Fair food. Persuade your school to start buying fair trade products like chocolate for your tuck shop and sugar, rice and vegetables for your school dinners. So again, um, if you feel really passionately about this, do some extra research. And then take action. Ask your teacher to log on to fairtrade.org.uk to fill out the application form to become a fair trade school. So if you've really big strong interest in this, just come in to me after um, half term when hopefully we're back in school and we can just discuss this. If not, no worries, just hopefully that you're understanding the text and understanding what fair trade means. Okay, so this PDF is in your home learning, which you can open up to complete the questions in a moment or you can print it off if you like but again obviously there's no obligation to do that i'm now going to show you the questions okay so we know that our text is shocked to spread a smile we're going to practice true or false again i'm not going to model today because you're going to bring all the skills that you've learned over the last few months together in order to do it so you have three statements here guessing the answer won't get you the right answer because these can be designed to trick you so it's really important that you go back to the text and have a look through it to be able to fully understand then you have three comprehension questions how does fair trade help people that means how so it means you need to give a reason you can start the answer with because and maybe give it evidence to support your answer why do the Ghanaian farmers find it hard to get a fair deal from the big chocolate companies for their cocoa? Again, it's a why question, so you should start it with because. And then number three, how does Nana Frimpong's initiative benefit local communities? Again, 
It's a how question, so you can use because to start it and perhaps give evidence to support your answer. Then you will go on to find a copy and you will look at the introduction. So that means you will go to the introduction because the answer will be in the introduction. Just to remind you, this is the introduction if you're wondering. So it says look at the introduction and find and copy the phrase which suggests fair trade has an impact on people. Now impact uh, means that it affects people. So you need to find and copy the phrase to show that fair trade has an effect on people. Then you'll go to the paragraph um, beginning with sweet deal. You will look at that and you will find and copy the word which tells you the money made from fair trade has been put back into local communities. It's really important here. Phrase, that's more than one word. Find and copy the word. That means you just need one word in your answer. And then finally, you will practice your fact and opinion like we've been doing recently and before Christmas. Okay, so this is also in your home learning document, which you can print off, or you can just open up the PDF and have a look at the questions before completing them on a piece of paper. Up to you, as always, what you do with that, as long as it's ticked or fixed and posted on Seesaw afterwards. So if you're ready to go and do that, or if you need to look back through the video, then please do. And um, you can pause the video now and come back to look at the answers when you are ready. Okay. So, we'll look at the answers together. Okay, for the true or false, Ghana is one of the world's largest cocoa producers. That is true. So, make sure you have a pen or pencil in your hand and tick or fix that. Number two, fair trade makes a positive difference to people's lives. That is also true. So, give yourself a tick or fix it. And finally, of the true or false, to divine chocolate bar can be brought in UK shops. That is also true. Okay. So well done for the true or false. Pause here if you need to have another look at them. Okay, the questions. How does fair trade help people? Fair trade helps people because they make sure that people get a fair price for their goods and that, that they produce like food, clothes and toys. So you could have given a quote or you can just give the reason like I did, that they make sure that a fair price is given for goods that people produce in those countries in Africa and Asia, like food, clothes and toys. So that's how fair trade helps people. So well done if you got that correct. Obviously you don't have to have it word for word like mine, as long as you're saying something quite similar. Number two. Why do Ghanaian farmers find it hard to get a fair deal from the big chocolate companies for their cocoa? So it starts with why, so I'm going to say because. Because the cocoa is grown on small family farms. That is why people find it hard to get a fair price, because the small farmers are kind of exploited um, and the big chocolate companies have more power. So because it's on small family farms, that's why they struggle to get a fair deal and that's why fair trade got involved. Okay, number three. How does Nana Frimpong's initiative benefit local communities? It improves the lives of people in communities. I'm going to add a little bit to that answer because by building wells, can you think of what else? Clean toilets, well done, and schools. Excellent work. Just so I forgot to add that in, so I'm going to add it in now so I ensure that I get my mark. So well done if you got the questions correct. Again, like I say, it doesn't have to be word for word as long as it follows the same idea as my answers. Okay, then we go on to our word meaning or our find a copy questions. So it said look at the introduction and find a copy of the phrase, which is a series of words or more than one word, which suggests that fair trade has an impact on people. And the answer to that was huge difference to their lives. So if you said to their lives, as part of your answer, that's okay. Or if you just said huge difference, that is also okay as your answer. And then with the second one, look at sweet deal. Find a copy of the word that tells you the money made from fair trade has been put back into local communities. So it said a word, so you just needed one word, and that was invested. That means the money has been put back into the community to benefit them. And then finally, we went to factor opinion. People in the UK should buy fair trade products, that is an opinion. Ghana produces a lot of cocoa beans, is a fact. 
In Ghana, it's impossible for farmers to get a fair price for the cocoa they sell, is an opinion. And Nana Frimpong has set out to improve the like of lives of local community members with the money that's been made for the sale of cocoa. And that is a fact. So pause the video here if you need to have another look at any point or rewind. Um, but I look forward to seeing your answers on Seesaw. It's good to get a practice on non-fiction because we don't always do that much of it. But every Friday from now on during her learning, we're going to practice those um, with each other. Now it's about drawing the skills together. So I know it's a shorter video than normal, um, but more responsibility on you today to practice all those find and copy skills, all those true or false skills that you've learned over the last few months. So well done. Um, have a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday for our next chapter of Floodland and I look forward to seeing all your fair trade answers on Seesaw. So have a lovely weekend and bye for now.